morning, Livingston Parish. Today is our first ever joint virtual tour, Journey with Jones and the Livingston Parish Library. My name is Amanda Jones. I am the librarian at Live Oak Middle School. And with us today, we have Desiree Disader from which branch? South Branch. South Branch. And we are going to go on a virtual trip to discover marine habitats. Now I'm gonna show you a lot of links today. So if you're interested in visiting any of these links on your own, if you go down in the YouTube description, there is a link to this presentation that you can use to go and visit all of these links yourself. You can also scan the QR code, I pointed the wrong way, scan the QR code on this presentation on this video, um, and that will also bring you to the presentation. So let's get started on our uh, trip to marine habitats. So we're about to explore marine habitats. Oceans occupy 71% of the Earth's surface and contain 99% of the Earth's liquid water, which is pretty amazing. Um, marine habitats, we're going to look at several. Marine habitats include oceans and seas, which both have salt water. Now, we are going to do another virtual tour with wetlands, and we'll discuss freshwater marine life, but today we're talking about um, oceans and saltwater habitats. There are five oceans across the planet and 100 different seas. Having salt in the water means that it takes a lower temperature for the water to freeze. So some marine animals have adapted to living in waters below zero degrees Fahrenheit, especially around the polar regions. So the first place we are going to visit today is the Great Barrier Reef. And I'm going to click through some pictures that are in 360 degrees. And this is a website called Air Pano. And in this website, if you decide to visit it on your own, you can click all around this website. You can zoom in, you can zoom out to the Great Barrier Reef. On the side, there are other pictures. So I'm going to be giving you a few facts as I click through the pictures. Now, the Great Barrier Reef is in Australia. It's found in Australia and is the world's largest coral reef and it is composed of 900 islands and 2,900 individual reefs. Let's see if we can zoom up in here. So what you're looking at, this, these are all of the coral reefs, reefs, and here are some islands. Now, the Great Barrier Reef, let me click on another picture, Great Barrier Reef is 133,000 square mile area, and it's the world's largest single living structure. Scroll around here. These are all of the coral reefs. Here we go. I'd also like to point out on this website, if you click the little um, book link down at the bottom, it will take you to information. You can learn more about what you see in the pictures. There are over 1,500 species of fish in the coral reef, including in the Great Barrier Reef, including clownfish, which is Nemo from Finding Nemo, as you can see here. This is a 365 or 360 degree picture of some of the fish. All right, and that is the Great Barrier Reef. Let's see. Now we are going to visit an, a website called Google Trek. Now Google Trek is great because it has all sorts of information and you can kind of scroll down and look at it on your uh, at your own pace. You can take a closer view. And what's really cool about Street View is that you can actually use Google Street View technology to explore the Great Barrier Reef just like you would on Google Earth, but you can do it under the sea. And this is a view from underwater if my computer was working and the website was displayed. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. There's a video here that you can click on and you can explore more in Street View. And it is not, I'm sorry guys, these, uh, this website is just not working right now at the moment, but it is on this website if you it's on this presentation if you'd like to go back and look at it. Next, we're going to go look at a reef in uh, our marine habitat in the in Komodo, Indonesia. All right, Komodo, Indonesia. There we go. This is also Air Pano, the same website, and you can scroll around in 360. So this is the um, in, in Indonesia. Now, the, the land area uh, of Komodo, Indonesia, it's an island, and the land area is home to the Komodo dragon. But uh, outside of the island in the ocean, 
you can find the coral triangle or part of the coral triangle. Now, uh, it is significant because it contains 500 reef building species of coral in this coral reef, which is pretty cool. Animals in this area would include whale sharks, moray eels, pink coral, and parrotfish. Now, a fun fact that due to the coral in this area, the beaches um, are a combination of white and red sand, which makes the beaches look pink around this marine habitat, which is um, kind of significant. There are only seven beaches like this in the world, and one of them is here in Indonesia. The last place we are going to visit is Hawaii. Now, I have never been to Hawaii, but I've always wanted to go. And this is a website where you can explore in 360 um, the marine life around Hawaii. It's a video. So while the video is playing, even, even though it's a video, it's in 360 degrees and you can go through here and tour. I am going to fast forward that a little bit. All right. So see, you can pan around and you can look at this marine life. While we are looking at this, I will give a few facts. There are eight main islands and several, several atolls, reefs, and smaller islands in Hawaii. Now, the marine life, the hab, uh, habitat uh, in Hawaii includes manta rays, whalefish, and sea turtles. Divers find thousands of life forms uh, present in the coral reefs surrounding Hawaii, which include hard and soft corals, fish of all sizes, octopus, eels, algae, sea anemones, crustaceans, um, sea worms. Let me see if I can go back to under the sea. There we are under the sea. Looks like that might be in a cave. Now, the problem with the uh, habitats, the marine habitats in Hawaii, is that due to tourism, a lot of the areas are starting to um, face severe damage. So they are looking into how they can stop that. Uh, to protect the marine animals around Hawaii. So since we're talking about marine animals, let's go and take a look at several different types. Now, the one really cool website I wanna show you right here is Live Ocean Animal Cam. This website, explore.org, has tons, you can click up here, tons of different live animal webcams that you can watch at any time. I love to watch, um, this is an aquarium, in California and I love to watch this uh, website with uh, the jellyfish and this is a live webcam showing jellyfish I like to display this in the library all the time but you can look at any of the animals found in marine life and you can watch the um, animal cams from this website link the second link on this website is an animal encyclopedia and we're going to take a look at some of these creatures now one of my favorite marine animals is the beluga whale now, the beluga whale looks a little different from the typical whale. You can see it has, uh, it's white in color and it kind of has like a dome shaped head. These are actually animal adaptations to help them because they live in cold oceans. They are found in Arctic waters. So the fact that they have no, dor no dorsal fin like a regular whale, they are white in color and have this dome shape are all attributed to um, the adaptations they have had to be due to living in the Arctic oceans. They are migratory and they spend most of their winter around the Arctic ice cap. So when you talk about marine life, we're not just talking about tropical um, coral and, and Nemo and that we do have um, tons of Arctic oceans with animals that are used to living in the cold. Let's go down and look at one of my favorites. Actually, let me scroll up here. One of my favorites is the blue tang fish. The blue tang is Dory from Nemo. This is the blue tang. Now, the blue tang is not that large. It's usually nine inches in length. Now, this fish is found in tropical waters. The amount of the blue coloring will tell you uh, how healthy the fish is. So if it's not a bright blue, it's probably not as healthy. They prefer flat top reefs and edges near a, uh, they love the edge of coral reefs near ocean drop-offs. So that's another type of animal that you can find in a coral reef. The last one we're going to talk about is a loggerhead turtle. Sea turtles and reptiles. 
And I referenced Nemo a lot because I just really like that movie. But we are going to look at the loggerhead turtle. All right, so loggerhead turtles. This is a marine reptile. So the, not a fish, a reptile. It can weigh up to 300 pounds. I did not know that they got that large. They are found in the Atlantic Pacific, in Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea, and they average from 47 to 67 years old. They are a uh, classified as a vulnerable species. So um, worldwide, we're, people are taking steps to save these animals from possible extinction. So those are just a few of the animals you would find in a marine habitat. Now, what I included in this presentation are several other websites and I also included a link called a uh, video called Journey into the Sea by National Geographic. And it is VR. So if you have VR goggles, you can go through here and watch it in VR. Some of my favorite books involving marine life. Um, this book right here is called Little Monsters of the Ocean, Metamorphosis Under the Waves by author Heather L. Montgomery. She has actually visited our school um, several times to talk to our students. This book has some amazing pictures of different life cycles of some marine creatures. And then the Livingston Parish Library also has these two books that you can check out um, electronically and physically with your library card. This one is Dorling, Kinsler, Kin, Dorling Kinsley's Sharks and Other Deadly Ocean Creatures, and then the Ocean Atlas, which is a journey across the waves and into the deep sea. So if you're looking to read books about marine animals, um, these are my favorite suggestions. And now I'm going to turn it over to uh, Ms. Desiree Dizadere to discuss some of the things happening at the Livingston Parish Public Library. Hi, everybody. Like Ms. Jones said, I'm Desiree Dizadere at the South Branch Library. And I'm just here to talk to you about our upcoming summer reading program. So this year's summer reading is Tales and Tales. Um, every branch will be representing a different biome which is a different habitat that some of these animals you saw on the video Ms. Jones just showed, and you'll see on her future ones, that um, this is where they would live at. Our South Branch will be a desert. So I'm going to let you know that our kickoff date is starting off in Denham Springs. We'll be starting off this weekend. So this Saturday, you could start registering. You can sign up and start reading your books and uh, sign up for our re summer reading program and get on there to start collecting your prizes. We have lots of great prizes this year. We have lots of passives. You can come into each branch, check out the different biomes and see what we have. Each branch will have similar passives, but they will be slightly different. So we encourage you to visit each one to see what you can get. So, sorry. So we'll all have story walks, so make sure you come out and check those out. Those are very exciting. You get to hop around the branch and see what they have for you to do follow along. Um, we have scavenger hunts. We have, you can build your own biome in a shoebox and come back and display it. We also have a pet tale where you can tell us about your animal. We'll display it for everybody to see and we'll vote. And there will be both monthly and weekly drawings and prizes given out. So be sure you come in and participate as many times as you can to put your name in the drawing. So I hope to see everybody come and sign up and uh, let's have a great summer. I know I'm going to be signing up. Mm -hmm. I do the adult summer reading program every single year, and my child does the the kids program. And I won the big raffle, the big uh, the big prize one year, and then my child won another year. She won the grand prize. Um, so there are some really great prizes. So I hope everybody um, takes advantage of all of the free resources and summer reading programming that is offered by the Livingston Parish Public Library. If you yeah. enjoyed this tour. Mm -hmm. um, we will have one every Friday. So next Friday is rainforest habitats, and then the following week, desert habitats. So stay tuned for more adventures. You can follow uh, the Livingston Parish Public Library social media or the Live Oak Middle School Library. And you can also visit this link to find more Journey with Jones virtual trips. We hope you had a good time and have a great summer.